Welcome to ERD Gallery, a channel for language learning, language learning and teaching technology and linguistics. You are still following a series of videos on systemic functional grammar. And the topic now is transitivity, the relational process. Now let's start. In this video, we are going to talk about the existential process and the relational process. The relational process can probably be identified by the function in which we have the attributive and identifying and the relation of the participants. Here we have the possessive and intensive and circumstantial. But before we go on with the existential and relational process, let's review our previous processes. We have sentences like Mary meet the omelette. Here we have a material process, creative material process, because the omelette here was made. It's produced, creative. And then we have the kids have decorated the room. That's a material process. We change the appearance of the room. That's transformative. And then Mary has told me the whole story. That's a verbal. The manager blamed the driver for the delay. That's also a verbal with the manager as a sayer and the driver as the target. Then we have, I saw Vicky in Marlboro Mall. That's a perception, mental process. I really adore Vicky. That's emotion, a uh, mental process. I still remember the first time I met her. That's cognition. Then we smiled at each other when we met. That's only what we did. We smiled at each other when we met, no more. Now let's start with the relational process. We have a good picture here, the picture of a girl on her car here. Well, please have a look at the girl. She's really beautiful. Now let's see what the girl can do for us or what we can do with the picture. Here we have the existential process. We have uh, the girl here. We have the car. And the picture is smaller here. We have there is a Volkswagen car at the beach. So we, we say something exists there. There is a Volkswagen car at the beach. There is a beautiful girl in the hood of the car. There is a chiller on the luggage rack. There is a surfing board, I think. There is a surfing board on the luggage rack. There seems a problem with the car. That's what I thought, the car stop. Probably she just wants to enjoy her time. This seems a problem with the car. Here we have existential processes. We have the word there here. The existential process is marked with the introductory there. And then we have a verb like be, seem, and appear. What we say here is that there exists something. So we always have the word there. And we have be, or seem, or appear, or similar uh, linking verbs, probably like that, linking verbs. And then we say that something is there. That's the existential process. Now we have the relational process. We have the identifying. The first one, we still have the picture of the girl with the uh, Volkswagen. We have the girl with the glasses is Gwen Stephanie. Well, she's a famous singer. The girl with the glasses is Gwen Stephanie, I think. I'm not sure though, but this is only an example. The car is the 1974 Volkswagen Beetle, that's for sure. Here we have the identifying relational process. We identify a participant or we identify an object. Here we identify the girl with glasses and we identify the car. We have the token here, Gwen Stephanie and the car under the tokens. They are the specific embodiment. If we met a girl and we know that the girl is Gwen Stephanie, then that's the girl. Gwen Stephanie is very specific. The car is very specific because we have the article the. And we can directly identify the car or we can directly identify Gwen Stephanie. If we know Blake Shelton's wife, then if we met somebody like that, then we can say, oh, that's Gwen Stephanie. So the token is something which is specific. It's a participant which is specific. And then we have the value. 
the girl with classes. Well, we have plenty of, we have many girls with classes at the beach. What we identify here is just one of the girl with classes. The 1974 Volkswagen Beetle, we also have lots of cars of that model on, of that types. So that's the value. The value is the more general category. So the COVID classes is more general than Gwen Stefani. The 1974 Volkswagen Beetle is more general than the car. The car here is very specific. That's why we use the word the car. And then it's expressed with the article. So we have the Gilbert classes and, and also under the 1974 false weekend Peter. So once again, in a identifying process, we have token, which is very specific. And we have the value, which is a more general category. We can say, Gwen Stefani is the girl with glasses. Still, the meaning is more or less the same. But with the second sentence, probably we cannot say in the 1994 Volkswagen Beetle is the car. That has a different meaning because we have so many Beetle cars and this is only one of the cars. Now, let's continue with the attributive. We have, again, we have the picture of the car with the girl. What? can we say about the car or what can we say about the girl? Here, we have uh, the car is a Volkswagen. That's a type of car. So we give an attribute on the car. That's a Volkswagen. The car is old, but it's still good. We have an adjective phrase here. The girl is a famous artist. That's what I thought. The girl is beautiful. So here we have in the first sentence and the third sentence, we have a noun phrase, a nominal group, a false weekend, a famous artist. And then in the second sentence and the fourth sentence, we have the adjectival phrase. The attribute relational process. So here we have the attributive relational process. Here we have the carrier, the car, the girl, and the carriers. And we have the attribute all good, beautiful, those are adjective group. And then we have a Volkswagen uh, famous artist, that's a nominal group with a non-definite article. So if we have an attributive process and we have attribute here, the article is usually non-definite article, a famous artist, a Volkswagen, or without any article. We have still with the girl and the relational process. Now look at the girl. Well, she is really beautiful. Now let's see what we can say about the girl here. The girl is very beautiful, for sure. Her boots are brown. We have boots here, and the girl here has boots, brown, high. She has blonde hair. That's the color of her hair. She has blonde hair. She has the glasses on. She has a sweet smile, a really sweet smile. She has a good body, no doubt. The suitcase may hold enough clothes for a week. So here, probably we can guess that the clothes are enough for one week without washing. The tattoos are only on her left arm. So here, clauses with relational process, or we show a relational process. Here we have very beautiful adjective phrase, a brown adjective phrase. We have is or are here. And then here we have has blonde hair, has a glasses on, and has a sweet smile, and has a good body. And this one is also a hole in her clothes and are only on her left arm. Her tattoos are only on her left arm. Well, that's what we can see from the picture. Now, let's see. So we have another classification. We have another way of looking at a relational process. Here we have the first, we have intensive. Here intensive can be like the room is very large. So we have uh, the state of the room, very large. The test looks very easy for you. The test looks very easy. We have a technical phrase, very easy. And then my mother gets angry easily recently. That uh, state gets angry recently. I don't feel well today. Too bad. Thelma is a good student. 
that's a Gujaran that, that's a noun for, that's a nominal phrase. The test is really a grammar test, so it's not a writing test. It's more a grammar test. So here we have uh, in the first four senses we have adjective groups: very large, very easy, angry, easy, angry, well, and in the last three senses we have nominal groups: a question, a grammar test, and his sister. So here we have participants. The first kind of participants is the carrier, the room, the test, my mother, I, Thelma, and the test. So these are the carrier. And the attributes are very large, very easy, angry, a question, and his sister. These are the attributes of the carrier over here. Now let's continue with the circumstantial. The car still at the beach. We have the circumstantial, the place. The food is on the table. The test was from 9 to 11. The delay was due to the bad weather. We have to do here. The talk doesn't concern our interests. The cause only lasted one hour. Here we have the carrier, and the car, and the food, and the test, the delay, and the talk, in the course. These are the carrier. And we have the attributes here at the beach, on the table, from 9 to 11, the bad weather, this is also attribute, and one hour. So these are, we have several kinds of attributes in these clauses. Now let's talk about the next relational process. We have the possessive. The family has a very big house. The book consists of 12 chapters. The new car belongs to Bill. All cigarettes contain nicotine. The paper has covered all the problems. Here we have the family, the family here, the book and Bill, all cigarettes and the paper as a carrier. The carrier here are also the possessor. So in this sentence, a new car belongs to Bill. The possessor is Bill. So the carrier and the possessor does not always come as the sentence subject, but it also comes like here, the complement of the verb. The new car belongs to Bill. Bill here is the possessor of the new car. And then we have the attribute, a very big house, 12 chapters, the new car. So the new car here is the attribute, although it becomes the sentence subject. Nicotine and all the problems. So the possess are the objects which are possessed, which belongs to the possessor. So we have belong and own. And while well, as a test for the uh, possessive relation process, we can always say has or use has uh, to show the connection, to show the relation of the carrier and attribute on the possessor and the possessed. Now let's uh, review what we have with the relational process. The first we have the function. Here we have attributive and identifying. And then we have another way of looking at the relational process. We see the relation of the participants. Here we have intensive with the carrier and attribute. The attribute can be an adjective uh, group or a nominal group, like he is sick or he is a good student. And we have possessive with has or possess or cover, consists. And then we have circumstantial with uh, on, in, at, or which shows the place on the time or the reason. So any circumstantial reason which comes after B, like he's in the garden, the test is from 9 to 10, or the delay was due to the bad weather. Well, that's all. Thank you. See you in the next video.